it's Katie and welcome back to my booktube channel. For today's video, I will be doing my October TBR and I'm super excited because October is my favorite month and I pre-ordered a bunch of books at the beginning of the year and most of them come out in October. So I'm really excited that the time is finally here. Um, the first part of my TBR is a bunch of those books and then I have a couple other books that I already own that I really want to get to this month because it just fits the aesthetic of October. So let's jump into it. The first book is Wildfire by Hannah Grace, which comes out October 3rd. It might already be out by the time this video goes up, but I'm really excited for this because it is the companion novel to Icebreaker, which was super popular last year and it was so cute. I loved it. It was a good balance of like hockey and like I don't know, it gave cute vibes and also good spice. So I'm excited to read this next one. And it takes place at a summer camp, which is such a cute setting. And there's one night stand, mutual pining, forced proximity. We get dual POV, so many things to be excited about. The next book on my TBR also comes out October 3rd and that is Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. And Carrie Maniscalco is one of my favorite fantasy authors. I loved her Kingdom of the Wicked series, Wrath and Amelia Have My Heart. And I'm really excited to dive into this one because it follows Envy. And he is just such a cool character. I just love all of the Princes of Hell and the fact that we're getting to see another one's romance and another one's story is just super exciting to me. I'll have to wait a little bit longer for this next one, but it is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. And Stephanie Garber is the author that got me back into reading. Back during quarantine, I read the Caraval trilogy and fell in love with reading again. So I'm really excited to read this one. This is the third book in her other series, which starts with Once Upon a Broken Heart. And this series is just so whimsical and there's like amazing world building, there's romance, there's like some action in it. It is just so good. And if you did read the Caraval trilogy, you met Jax and this follows him and also a new character, Evangeline. And I love them so much and I'm really excited to see how this trilogy ends because the last book ended on a huge cliffhanger. I don't know if I said, but that comes out October 24th. After that, I have Caught Up by Liz Tomford on my TBR, and she wrote Mile High and the Right Move, which are two of my favorite books that I read this year. Mile High is a hockey romance, and it was so good. Like, I, I can't even explain how good it was. There was spice and, like, also a deep emotional connection. There's, like, a good cast of characters that you meet. It is just so great and I love Liz Tomford's writing. I just fell in love with it and I will read anything that she writes. Um, the Right Move is a basketball romance that follows the brother of the main character from book one and it's just, it's so good. I think I did a review for it, so if I did, I will link that for you guys. Go check it out because right now I'm not articulating how great these books are, but I did a better job in that video. Um, this book is a baseball romance and it follows, I think his name's Kai and he's a single dad and I think he ends up needing somebody to watch his kid while he, you know, just traveling to away games and all that stuff. And so I think the romance is with the nanny. But what's really fun and makes me more excited is that the nanny doesn't stay home with the kid. I think she travels with them. So there is the only one bed trope. There are some connected hotel rooms. And I'm just excited to see what that brings to the table because it'll be good. Then on October 13th, we get Hopeless by Elsie Silver. And this is the fifth book in the Chestnut Springs series. I don't think you can see it, but I have it down here. And I love it so much that I have two copies of every book so far. And I will do the same for this book. I am so excited. This follows Bo and 
I'm pretty sure he was in the military and some stuff happened with that. So he is like a tortured soul. And I've just been waiting for his story because I want him to be happy. I, I just want him to have his happily ever after. And I just love the world. I love all these characters so much. I'm not ready for it to be over, but I just, I can't wait to get my hands on this one. I didn't say any tropes for that one, but we get fake fiance, I think an age gap. It also has like who hurt you vibes. What more could you want? The next one on my TBR is Twisted Obsession by S. Massery. And she is a new author to me, but this is the fourth book in the Hockey God series. And I've read a ton of hockey romances, but these are some of the darkest hockey romances I've ever read. And it really makes you question your morality, I feel like. But they're so good, they're so addicting. And I am excited for this one. It has a reverse age gap, which will be interesting. It's between a hockey player and an artist. It also has obsessed hero, he falls first, and found family. So I'm excited to test this one out. I can't remember who it's about because my memory sucks, but I think that I'm really excited. I think book three sets us up for this book pretty well. So we'll see. Okay. Now we're moving on to some books that I own that I really want to read. And the first one, ooh, the lighting is bad. Um, the first one is Air Awakens by Elise Kova. I've had this book for a couple years now and it is time for me to read it. I have seen a couple TikToks about it recently, which is why it is fresh in my head. But I'm really excited. I think this is a five book series and it just kind of feels like fall to me because there's some like elemental magic in here. It also takes place, I think like in a library. I just know it's like a bookish setting and that just feels very cozy and fall and I love that so much. I've heard really good things about this series. I think you can like fly through it because they're pretty tiny. So hopefully I will actually read something off of my physical TBR. Up next is the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey. This is thick, but it's because I think there's five books in this one binding. So I have been waiting to read this for a year. I don't know why. I know that I'm going to love it. I've only heard amazing things about it, but there's just certain books that I'm waiting for the perfect moment to read. And this is one of them, but the vibes it's giving off it just feels like a good book to read in october so hopefully the time is finally here i know that it follows a female serial killer i think something happened to her in her past a bunch of people wronged her and she is getting revenge um and then the love interest is an agent or detective who is trying to solve all of the cases of these murders and doesn't realize that the woman that he's in love with is the one killing these people. That's all I know. I've tried to stay away from anything else, but I really hope that I sit down and read this because I just know that I'm going to love it. Next on my list is another book that is pretty dark and twisted, but feels perfect for like October and Halloween. And that is Hideaway by Penelope Douglas. I don't own the physical copy, but it is on Kindle Unlimited. So it's probably where I'll read it. But I have Corrupt right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I loved it. I think it was actually the first dark romance that I'd ever read. So the first time I read it, it kind of scarred me a little bit, but then rereading it a little bit later, I realized how much I loved the series. I also own the third book, but the Barnes and Noble that's near me does not have book two for some reason. So we'll see what format I read it in. But anyway, I'm really excited. It is the second book in the Devil's Night series. I think I already said that, but this series is just so intriguing to me. And this one follows Kai, who I loved from book one. And it follows him and Banks. I don't remember if we met Banks, but I'm excited for their romance. I'm pretty sure it's enemies to lovers. I think all of these books probably will be. And I think there's also some element of forced proximity, but somehow I've managed to avoid spoilers for this series, even though so many people are obsessed with it. So 
hopefully I will get my hands on the book and finally get to read it. And then the very last book on my TBR is Foxglove by Adeline Grace. This just came out August 22nd. So it's fairly new, but this is the sequel to Belladonna, which I adored. And I don't, I don't know if I did a review. My memory is terrible. If I did a review for this book, I will link it somewhere. If not, I definitely do have a review for it on Goodreads. So either way, you can find my thoughts over there. But I am obsessed with it. It's like gothic, dark academia vibes. Perfect for October. And there's romance, but also there was like a murder mystery in the first book. But it leaves you off with like a crazy cliffhanger and like a new mystery to solve in this book. And that's all I'm really going to say. I don't want to spoil anything, but it's so good. And I'm not sure if they're all like this, but under the dust jacket for these books, they're stunning. And I just, I have to talk about them. Like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I, I just love it so much. And then also the end papers kind of show you more of what the vibe is. I think it might be the same picture. But gorgeous. So excited to read this. I'll probably wait till a little bit closer to Halloween just because, I don't know, it just fits that vibe. But those are all the books on my October TBR. Let me know what books you're planning to read this month because I could always use more recommendations. If you liked this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.